AI, the brand new digital album from Paradise Decay, out now on Bandcamp. Hi guys, PD here, welcome to the channel, welcome to another new video. The reason why there's no face cam today is my monitor is only a few inches away from my eyes. I'm currently legally blind. I'm waiting an operation to fix the vision in one eye. That's going to allow me to see for the time being. I've been getting lots of requests from people to play Scorn in VR with Orpex. Sadly, due to my current situation, I, like I said, I'm legally blind. I can only see light and colour in my right eye. My left eye, I can only see a few inches in front of me. It's like a dense fog. Everything's really blurry and it's been like this for the last two months. So I'm currently sat about six inches away from my monitor. You're going to see me running windows in contrast mode with the biggest font possible because this is the only way I can really read any text. Due to my current eye situation, I can't see any 3D depth. Because I can't see my right eye, I cannot judge the distance of objects. So trying to get this game to work in Vorpex is not an option. I do know for a fact this game is going to work in VR. There's a dedicated VR mod coming. I think it's from Preydog. If not Preydog, then it's Dr. V. Like I said, guys, it's really hard for me to keep up with um, current situations in VR as I struggle to read any text. I do know for a fact that I can try to get this game to work in VR and I can see that it's working in 3D with a Reshade and SuperDepth 3D. Reshade has got the ability for me to physically see the 3D without putting on a, a VR headset. So today I'm going to try to get Scorn to work in VR. I might even jump in with my VR headset just to try to get a feel of the game and the atmosphere that sort of thing. I have been playing this game pancake mode it's been working quite well again I'm really close to my screen the only time I had any problem in the game was the uh, there's a puzzle right at the beginning where you have to select the eggs I did not know at the time that they were eggs uh, my wife had to tell me that there was eggs with like eyes in them so she helped me out with that part of the game so let's try to get this game working with the reshade um, you need to install the game and then you need to go to the uh, Reshade website. So go to Reshade. Like I said, guys, the text is going to be really big for you guys. I can read this text. And I'm sat six inches away from the screen. If I sat any further back, I would not be able to read this. And like I said, it's very blurry. It's not sharp. It's not crystal clear. Imagine looking at this video now through a piece of tissue paper in just one eye. That's what I can see. So we're going to scroll down. We're going to go to download. We're going to find the latest version, which is 5.4.2. Scroll down and we're going to download it here. Okay, now we need to run Reshade and we need to find the game. Uh, Reshade is going to scan my PC for all my games and we need to find Scorn. If you can't find the game straight away, then you go to Browse and it should be in your Steam library. Reshade has found two versions of the Scorn.exe. I know from experience, normally one of these does not work. I also know from experience that 9 times out of 10, it's the uh, Windows 64 version that works. So we're going to select the bottom one here and we're going to click on Next. Because I've got this on contrast mode, I can't see anything in these boxes. Um, I'm just going to select this one here. Hope it's the right one. I'm going to skip all this. I know there's information here, I can't see it. I'm going to make the screen a bit bigger so I can see what we're doing. 
Okay, so we need to uncheck all this. So we're going to select Depth 3D. And then we're going to click on Next. And Reshade is going to download the files to make this work in 3D and in a VR headset. Click on Next. And that should be job done. Now we need to be able to play the game in 3D or watch the video in 3D. And for that we're going to use a um, virtual desktop. So we're going to update virtual desktop and then we're going to run it. Basically Reshade is going to split the game into two images left and right. One for the left eye, one for the right eye. That's going to give you a 3D image. And for this to work you need to make sure you go down to 3D options and select half SPS which is half side by side. Basically virtual desktop is going to take the left and right image, put them both together and it's going to be 3D in your headset. This method should work for any VR headset, Quest 2, Rift S, G2, Valve Index, you name it. Okay so now virtual desktop is running we're going to uh, boot up Steam VR. So SteamVR is running and now we're going to run the game. And we get this warning message to say that we're trying to boot up the game in VR, which is what we want. Okay, I can see the reshade menu at the top of my screen, just barely. I'm going to have to use my magnifying glass to read all the text. I'm playing the game with an Xbox controller. I'm just going to go into my, uh, my saved game. And we're going to try out the reshade and the 3D once I'm inside the actual game. I've got my graphics settings on low for now. Just so that I can get a really nice smooth image and video for you guys to watch. I'm going to click on continue. Okay, I'm inside the game now and I'm controlling the game with the uh, Xbox controller. I'm not inside my VR headset though. Uh, the game's running, I'm just going to try and um, check the uh, 3D's working and I can do that visually on my uh, pancake monitor. I'm just going to find an area where there's lots of um, walls and things to check. Okay so now we need to hit the home key to bring up the uh, reshade menu. Um, click on continue uh, this is really hard for me to see. Again, click on continue and you need to make sure Super Depth 3D is ticked. I can't see this text at all. I'm going to have to use my magnifying glass just to um, have a look, see what we're doing here. Super Depth 3D and then click on continue. And down at the bottom is where we're going to scroll down and check that the 3D is working. When I select a Super Depth 3D in Reshade, it's going to split the screen into two. If I hit the home key now, we should have two screens. There we go. Left and right. And that's going to give you 3D inside your headset. So now I'm going to try and see if it's working in 3D. Okay, so I need to scroll down to where it says Depth Map View. Again, I'm using a magnifying glass to see what I'm doing. If I tick this box here, we should get like a grey scale. And that's going to show me physically on screen if 3D is working. Okay, I can see gradient on my screen with my bad eyes. So if I move now, that gradient in grey is the uh, 3D depth, guys. So that is telling me... There, look, 3D is working. The darker the grey, the closer the object is to your eye. The lighter the grey, the further away it is in the distance. So, I'm currently doing this on my monitor at the moment. I've not even been inside my VR headset. Um, I don't even know if I'll be able to play a bit of the game in my headset. I don't know how hard it's going to be compared to playing the game on a, on a monitor. But as you can see, this is working. And if you want to see some more in-depth guides on Reshade, 
how to get better 3D. I've got plenty of guides on my channel guys. Check out like the stray guide. Things like that. I'm going to untick this box. We're going to hit the home key. And now hopefully if I go to my VR headset I need virtual desktop running to be able to play the game in, in 3D. So let me start a brand new game. I'm having to really turn to my left to see the menu. This screen is so big guys. New game lock. Let's wander around in the new game so you can see what this is like. I don't know if this intro is in 3D guys, I can't see. And this is something I'm going to have to check after my eyes are better. Okay guys, so I'm actually inside my uh, VR headset. I've got the Rift S on. And I'm walking around this um, this world. Now don't forget I'm legally blind, so I can only see light and colour in my right eye. My left eye is all foggy, very blurry. But this looks just like real life at the moment. If I take my VR headset off, this looks exactly the same as what I normally see day to day in my normal life. So, I don't know if I'll be able to um, record much gameplay. Um, it's very hard for me to judge where I'm going, that sort of thing. I've got a feeling this is where I need to go. Okay, it's very bright here, so this is quite nice to uh, look at. In my current situation, I'm a big fan of light. The more light, the more comfortable I feel. And um, when it's really dark, guys, I feel really claustrophobic. Recently, we had a power cut and I panicked because I could not see a thing. Basically, being legally blind, it's really gave me um, some claustrophobic issues because I feel trapped behind this uh, veil of fog and mist. What's this? I should be able to see what I'm doing when I'm editing the video, but for now, I'm just wandering around, just so that you guys can see what this game looks like in um, in 3D and in VR. So basically I'm playing this game on a giant 3D screen. It's about the same size screen that you get when you go to a 3D cinema. It's a lot clearer and a lot sharper normally than at the cinema.
but this should give you guys a really nice um, comparison of what the 3D is going to be like. If you don't want to use Reshade, which is free, then I guess you can wait for the mod. There's a weapon in the game, it's like a thumper weapon, it's like a, a drill, uh, you fire it and you can kill enemies and you also use it to uh, activate puzzles. I'm finding it a lot harder in my VR headset because the screen is so big, it's a lot bigger than on my uh, normal monitor. Okay so these are the objects you interact with. And the uh, first part of the game is like a puzzle game. And this game is very Geiger inspired and uh, I can imagine this game being amazing in VR. Just being able to uh, navigate this amazing world. It's so alien. Okay well at least we're exploring a little bit. You guys can see a bit of the world. And this is the longest time I've been in a VR headset. So hopefully you guys can see uh, this working in 3D. I'm recording the split screen so that you can actually watch this video in a VR headset as well. Again, all you need is virtual desktop or a browser that supports stereoscopic viewing. So I know you can like watch YouTube videos in 3D with certain um, viewers. If this is working, this is going to give you an idea of what the VR mod is going to do. If you already got the game, reshade free, and you just need a copy of Virtual Desktop. Like I said, it's a lot harder for me to see the game in the headset than playing on a, a normal monitor, because I can make my monitor a bit smaller. We're progressing at least. I'm hoping the video is smooth for you guys. Okay guys, I'm going to leave it there. I'll leave you with some gameplay footage, hopefully in 3D. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Be sure to my little bell. See you in the next one.